So this is the first year I've tried growing chilli plants and it's done quite well, I'm quite pleased with them. Um, these are the two indoor ones, which are taller, as you can see, they've got thicker stems. Um, more fruit actually, as well, which is not surprising. And there's the three indoor, oh, three indoor ones, that shouldn't be, shouldn't be here, that's one of the lemon trees that I sowed back in um, back in March, along with the same time I sowed the chilies, so I'm quite pleased with them. I've grown lemons before, and I, I seem to do quite well with them, as long as I don't forget them in winter and kill them. Um, yeah, the, the outdoor ones, smaller, plenty of flowers, slower to fruit, but I'm expecting more fruit from them. I mean, it's 15th of September today, and I am expecting them to continue fruiting. I know that the time will come soon from my reading, my research, and for research, you know, looking on YouTube. But I know from my research that the time will come soon when the plants will become dormant. A lot of people think they're, they're annual and they die and chuck them out. But in fact, the plants just become dormant in our climate. And as long as they don't experience sort of severe outdoor frost, or indoors, in fact, in my house, come to that. Um, they should survive until next year and actually give a better crop in the second and third years. So when, when, they're, when they're clearly dormant, which could be October, November, could even be December. I mean, these could, these could possibly keep fruiting until December, especially the outdoor ones which I've brought in. But when they do become dormant, I'll be, I'll be pruning them back quite harshly. I mean, I'll be cutting them back sort of this, this height, you know four or five inches, six inches for the indoor ones and way back to little stumps, just a, this probably the second leaf growth for these and cutting back the side stalks. And it looks very, it looks very drastic and very harsh oh, when you see it on YouTube, but it, apparently they do grow back, well I've seen proof, video, video evidence that they do, they do actually grow back quite vigorously so I'm looking forward to that. But today, this morning I came across something quite interesting, something else that I hadn't heard of. So I decided I was going to try a little experiment. And what I did was took some cuttings. Um, I looked at the indoor ones. At first they were the obvious because I'd be, I'd be you know I'd be keeping the cuttings indoors over the, over the winter. So the indoor the in, the two indoor plants were the obvious ones to take cuttings for. But then I thought, well, actually no, because the outdoor ones will be tougher. And also the indoor ones, mm, I'm, I'm kind of reluctant. I mean, I could possibly, I still might actually take off one of these as a cutting. One of these, I mean, this has got a fruit set. This one has one about, just about to set, just setting now. I'll possibly take one of those. But when I looked at the outdoor ones, I thought, well, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're more obvious candidates. Um, this one has only just forked, it's only just got the one fork on it, so no, this got fruits on both both arms of the fork, both tines of the fork if you like. This one hasn't really forked, it's barely forked, way way at the top there, so no. But this one had a good, this was the strongest plant, had a good strong main stem and three strong side shoots. So what I did was, from this side shoot here, I cut it off. I cut off the whole side shoot. <laughs> I just cut the bugger off, even though it's got flowers on it. And then I had another little look, and um, cut a bit more off. <laughs> so, I've got two cuttings now, two cuttings from that same plant. Which is foolish, really, because I should have took cuttings from I should have cut cuttings from different plants just to see how it went. But these two weren't really suitable. So I'm hoping. I mean, look at the size of that. Look at the size of that. Hey, missus. Ooh, not bad. Eh? Um, I was going to cut that today, but it's still a bit pale green at the stem end, so I won't I'll wait till it's darkened properly. I might even leave it until it just starts to change colour. Just starts to go orange, and I'll harvest it. And could save that for seed. Given the strength of this plant and the size of that chilli, I think seeds saved from the first chilli off it would be a good, good way to go, good way forward. 
So anyway, I brutalised, brutalised my best chilli plant. And I'm hoping it'll work. Um, so come middle of next month, you know, around October the 15th, month or so's time, we'll come back and we'll see how the poor little babies have done, see what I've done. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wow, I didn't enjoy that at all. Oh dear. Come on, wild old boy. Don't mind if I do.